All right, today we're going to show you how we do a pump out on our sailboat. We have a Tiana 37, and when we pull up to the dock, we have to uh, do our pump out from the port side over here. Is our uh, pump out deck fill screw, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> opening. Uh, you need a key that looks like this to get into it, uh, or a spanner wrench will also work. So the first thing we're going to do is open this. All right, and on our boat we have another valve that we have to open before we can get the pump out working. Um, usually how we do that is I open this, Jeff opens up the lazarette and he undoes the valve because I can't really reach it. Um, it's easier for him to do it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the hose that's on the dock um, to the top of the waste fill. And you'll notice you want the um, hose running as flat and as unkinked as possible on the dock. Um, anywhere that you have like a big dip or you've got the hose in a knot you're going to lose suction and you just want to suck all that stuff out as quickly as humanly possible. So um, Jeff is going to go on the dock and hand me the uh, hose and then we'll show you how we attach it to the deck fill. Action. All right, so at most docks that you pull up to you'll see the contraption looks something similar to this. Uh, there's going to be a place where you're going to attach it to the deck fill. Um, there's going to be a glass window that you can see the stuff being pulled through, which is important. And then there's going to be a valve that you're going to open or close, uh, open and close. Um, so on our boat, it's a little tricky because we happen to have a cleat right there uh, and we have one of our stanchion bases right here. We've actually pulled up to a couple of spots where we can't get the, uh, the pump out hose onto it, but this one works really well for us. So we're just going to put this down here. And then I'm going to hold it in place uh, so that it causes a little bit of suction, but not much. And Jeff is going to come back on board, he's going to open the lazarette, and then he's going to open up the valve that's below. But you want to make sure that you have this in place first so you don't have a volcanic eruption. So over here, this is your basic Santa Sailor pump out system. Um, most of them look like this. and. A lot of times if you pull up to a dock, like a, a fuel dock or something like that, they'll operate it for you. Otherwise, it's just push green to turn on, push red to turn off. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. There's no real noise. You won't know until you actually open the valve over on the boat. Okay. All right. And now I'm holding this tightly in place. I'm going to open the valve. And you'll hear it. And you'll see it sucking through the uh, you know, clear glass opening. And you want to make sure that you hold this on really tight because again you don't want a volcano of waste on your deck. So when the pump out is almost finished you're going to start to feel the uh, entire unit sort of uh, jerking a little bit and you'll notice um, the waste will start coming in spurts. Um, and we have about a 15 gallon tank and it usually takes maybe a minute or so uh, to clear it out at most pump out stations. So when you're finished, you're just going to want to turn off the valve and have the person on the dock make sure that the unit is turned off. And now that everything is turned off, you can safely remove Generally, the dock master will grab it from you and they'll dip it in the water for a courtesy cleaning. When you're finished, you're going to want to put the cap back on. And in our boat, we would want to make sure that we close the valve below in the lazarette. And you're all set. We like to put a little bit of um, odor killer in our head immediately after we clean it to try to keep down the smell which is inevitable on a sailboat. Alright, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.